everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya and if you're stopping by for the first time welcome I hope you consider subscribing and if you're not stopping by for the first time thank you so much for your support so today's video is another installment of my bag stories so the bag I will be sharing with you today is one that I purchased from memory at the end of 2018 it was at the time when Henry Bendel was actually closing down so I had known about Henry Bendel for quite a few years and I think I sort of came to know them by watching many people on YouTube as early as 2014 and I always used to look at their website and I always wanted that tall toiletry 26 with the signature brown and white stripe and I just never pulled the trigger on it anyway it doesn't matter I wish I had but it is what it is now and then they went out of business which was really really sad so it's a real shame so I had not ever really bought anything from them many times I went to their website added to cart but never pulled the trigger because at the time shipping to Australia was quite expensive until the sale happened and then I really really started looking closely in earnest because I did want one item at least one I now have three uh, and one of the others will be in an upcoming bag story video But this is I think from memory the first one that I purchased and this is the Henry Bendel bum bag It's a beautiful beautiful bag and I'm really glad I bought this um, It came in a variety of other colors and it came in a smaller size too If you'd like me to do a what fits let me know I won't do it in this video Otherwise the video will be far too long So this is what the bag looks like now when it arrived it just came in its dust bag, which I'll show you now in a moment, in a plastic, just one of those clear plastic bags, and it was just swishing around in the bottom of the box. Clearly, they were inundated. Clearly, people, their staff were run off their feet, trying to keep up with orders and everything. And you could just tell it had been quickly packed and just thrown in the box and then labels stuck on it and sent out to me. So anyway, at first, that was a disappointment when I opened it. The second disappointment when I opened this was all these scratches that I saw across the front panel there. Now, this is a beautiful sort of yellow beige color, and the color you're seeing there is true to life. But the, the disappointing thing about this, and given that the, the nature of the color, there was a series of scratches here on this front panel. I've since repaired it, uh, and this bag, by the time I received it, was out of stock. It was a real, real shame. And you could tell that whoever had purchased it before me and then thought, nah, stuff it, I don't like it, I don't want it, and decided to return it, must have had long nails. And you could tell that they had been, obviously, in order to get into this little compartment there, which I'll show you, they had been scraping with their nails. And they probably had long nails. Now, I don't have long nails. Sometimes they get a little bit longer than that, but I can't stand long nails. I think it just, it comes from my many, many years of playing piano. I, I just like having short nails and I'm lucky because my nail beds are long anyway but this person obviously had scraped in with their nails to try and open this little section here so that was extremely extremely disappointing and the other disappointment is and I don't remember if it came this way or it slowly went that way but this wiring under here has just been rippling and it's a real shame I often have to massage it you know I often have to massage it I don't know if there's any wire in there or if it's just like a thickish piece of rolled up leather or maybe stitched in to make it look like that. But that is unfortunate and it does distort the look of the bag sometimes. However, the outcome from the scratches scenario means that I can overlook this little bit of rippling and I'm happy to just massage it and play with it now and then to make it smooth. Okay, here we have the dust bag, and I have to admit, I'm really impressed. The Henry Bendel dust bags are really sturdy. They're nice and thick. They're like a thick calico there. You can see that grain or that, um, yeah, the grain through it. It's got the beautiful drawstring with the brown ribbon and the signature stripes of Henry Bendel, which are this chocolate brown and white, and then the gold Henry Bendel New York, and that's just been printed on in some sort of gold ink. It's not embossed or debossed it's not raised or anything like that so that is a beautiful large size for the size of the bum bag now the bag itself is a beautiful soft lambskin and that's what makes me think that think that this is just one piece of rolled up leather or something because you know it is quite soft it has the front pocket here now those of you who know Chanel will recognize that this does look a little bit like the Chanel bum bag that came out probably about four or so years ago. However, I have to say, not four, 
not three. Uh, I have to say that I purchased this before that particular Chanel bum bag came out. And Henry Bendel, I will argue, must have had this before Chanel came out with theirs. So I'm not saying anyone's copying anyone. I mean, everyone copies everyone. But you know what I'm saying? So just letting you know that, yes, Chanel does have one, but this came out before the Chanel one. So just, just saying, just saying. So the front here has this beautiful um, sort of antique silver, partly shiny, but not ruthenium silver hardware. And it's obviously shaped in the HB, as you can see. It's a turn lock closure. Open it up. You've got the beautiful soft lambskin here. Because it's soft, it does take on some of the indentations of, you know, the stitching behind and some of this that it sits up against, but that can't be helped. I mean, Chanel does that too. And inside this pocket here is the leather that's been folded over and just sort of like extended down a little bit. And then inside there is a, a brown satin fabric. Okay, then as I've already shown you, there is an inner pocket here, like a little secret pocket. Sometimes I put my phone in here. Sometimes I put my phone in the front pocket. And then you have the larger component uh, compartment here sort of at the top, and it's beautiful. It's got this gorgeous sort of silvery brown. This, I think, is like a top, brownie top satin fabric. As you can see, it's got card slots for three cards. At the front here, it has another slip pocket in the same color leather, and on it is embossed Henry Bendel, New York. And then deep down in this corner here, there is another little white leather tab, which says made in China. So the actual zip itself is lovely and smooth, and it's in the same silver hardware the zipper pull as you can see is lovely and sturdy and thick it's nothing thin and flimsy Louis Vuitton pay attention and uh, the other hardware on the bag is a little bit of this silver chain here it's got a little pendant HB the other side of the pendant says Henry Bendel New York printed on there so you just have a little bit of chain action happening on these two ends and then the rest is all the same leather strip in that lambskin and it has two four six eight twelve fourteen holes to adjust i actually have it set lower and i need to actually put another hole in there because i haven't done this well uh, and i like to wear this crossbody this way that's how i wear it and at first when this came out and when you know, bum bags all came out. I thought, no, I can't wear it. It looks like I've got a third boob. I can't do it. But I tell you what, the because I've actually set this on, where is it, really, really low, I can actually have it sitting longer this way. Or if I want, I could do that. Sometimes I've actually slung it behind me. But I'm always very careful about doing that because, you know, the last thing, the last thing you want is someone to do something behind you. So that's that makeup there and it's got the silver buckle on the buckle itself it also has henry bendel or henry henry bendel yes henry bendel embossed in there and then you will have noticed here that i have a couple of charms these did not come with the bag these were sent to me by my beautiful friend krista one is silver one is gold and they fit perfectly on the strap so to put it on you you know unravel here slide them on and they move up and down with me as i use the bag and i love these and the back of these is the, it's like a ridging, which is like the stripes, which are signature to Henry Bendel. And you've got your gold and silver tea for Tanya. So that's the makeup of the bag. So when I noticed the actual damage that was here on this front panel, I contacted them immediately. So I emailed them and I said, uh, yo, what's the deal? No response. And I know there was no response because they were flat chat. They were, you know, inundated off their feet with orders left right and center and so on so i emailed again no response and then finally i thought to myself you know what when you have a big company who's concerned about their sales etc or is driven to do well the one way to get them the one way to get them is social media so i hit their facebook page and i wrote a description of everything on their facebook page and i even uploaded photos to show the damage and the fact that I essentially had been ignored. So then again, um, there was, I think, a generic message. Please contact us via DM to discuss your matter. So then I went to the message, Facebook Messenger, directly with um, Henry Bendel. 
And again, I showed and explained everything. I even took a little video footage, and if I still have it, I will share, share it here, up close of the damage of this bag. Now, I don't remember what I paid for this. I think I paid approximately 200 Australian dollars, and that was pretty much half price. Uh, so I can't remember exactly. I'll check through all my messages to see what if I wrote it down, what I paid anyway, for Anyway, so after I had shared my, you know, concerns with them through Messenger, I received a reply and said, that is terrible. We are so sorry that has happened. That is not up to the usual, you know, well, it's not the usual Henry Bendel uh, standards. Therefore, what we will do is we will issue you a full refund for the bag and you are welcome to keep the bag. So I thought, wow, power of social media, peeps. It's amazing what you can do with social media. Anyway, so that's what I did. So I confirmed with them. They then issued me a refund, which of course took like a week to, to come through. And I've ended up keeping this bag. And I have used this bag and I still love this Darling. bag. Now, how did I resolve or fix those scratches? Basically, I got the leather conditioner and I have a... Um, an Enyo beeswax one and with a very very soft cloth for I don't know how long probably a couple of weeks I continued buffing and buffing and buffing and buffing and because this is lambskin it buffed out so now when I look at it that you can just see the finest finest shadow hopefully I can pick it up for you oh can you see that one there just there and there so anyway that's the story behind this bag oh I forgot to show you at the back here you have another side a slip pocket and then Henry Bendel New York in silver. And the beauty of this bag is that it actually curves. So if you wanted to wear it literally at your, your waist, you could because you could tighten it and it just curves in with you like that. So, oh, sorry, that was a bit nipply. Anyway, <laughs> I might cut that out. <laughs> so that's the beauty of this bag. I'm really glad I have it. I love it. Every time I pick it up and touch it and hold it, I wish I had bought more, but oh well. Sometimes, you know, having less means you appreciate it more. So let me know what you think of this story. Do you have any Henry Bendel bags? What's your story about your Henry Bendel bag? And I look forward to reading your comments. So take care, everybody. God bless. And I will see you next time. Ciao. You know, the last thing you want is someone to do something. Ow.